okay students let's start a sum from the following trial balance and adjustments given below you are required to prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 and balance sheet as on that date so trial balance is basically given to you so as soon as we read the trial balances we will mark the items what is going to go where opening stock where does it go trading account so just in pencil write the trading account right just t cash in hand is your asset so balance sheet asset discount allowed profit and loss account debit side salaries again profit and loss account debit side land and building is your asset furniture is your asset plant and machinery asset debtor is asset interest paid profit and loss account debit side printing and stationery again profit and loss account debit side purchases trading account debit side wages trading account debit side sales return less from sales bad debts that you will put in the formula profit and loss account debit side now come to the credit side capital account will go in capital account itself durgesh dinesh sales trading account credit side creditors balance sheet liability bills payable again balance sheet liability bank loan balance sheet liability same discount received profit and loss credit side purchase return minus from purchase that is trading account now let is there any hidden adjustment here no nothing that is can be seen on the trial balance let's go to the adjustments the stock on hand on 31st march was valued at 14500 so what are the two effects trading account credit side and second balance sheet asset side so once you write all this it becomes easier outstanding salaries add to salaries that is profit and loss account and second effect balance sheet liability wages paid in advance to workers where will that go you have paid advance so balance sheet asset side and this is prepaid wages correct so you will minus from wages that is trading account debit side depreciate land and building and plant and machinery so you will minus from plant and machinery minus from land and building and the second effect profit and loss account debit side write of 500 for further bad debts this is your new bad debt so you'll put in the formula profit and loss account debit side second effect balance sheet you'll minus it from debtors all right so now whatever i have written here i have to mark it here salaries wages land and building plant and machinery let me put a mark here salaries wages land and building and plant and machinery all right so once i mark this i know that these figures have to be written in the inner column and the remaining where there is no marking it has to be written in the outer column any other adjustments no that's it okay so let's start the sum now let us start i have already prepared the accounts trading account profit and loss account this is partners capital account two partners durgesh and dinesh and this is your balance sheet all right balance sheet as on 31st march this is very important to write this heading profit and loss account for the year ended you must write it like this and trading account you can for the year ended 31st march now trading account and profit and loss account can be combined okay but here i have made it separately you can do either ways let's start first we start with opening stock write down two opening stock what is the amount 9000 directly outer column cash in hand is asset now go sequence wise don't go trading account profit and loss go as per the trial balance item so asset side i will write cash in hand no adjustments directly outer column 1200 discount allowed discount allowed profit and loss account debit side leave a line to discount allowed 450 salaries there is adjustment here so we have to write in the inner column salaries 650 in the inner column 
Now leave two lines. Land and building is your asset. Go to the balance sheet asset side. Right here, land and building. Now there is adjustment here, depreciation. So inner column twenty five thousand. Leave two lines. Write furniture. No adjustments. Directly outer column. Plant and machinery. Again, there is adjustment. Inner column eleven thousand. Leave two lines. Debtors. Debtors also we have adjustment. Let's mark it here. Give to minus bad debts. Twelve thousand five hundred. Leave two lines. Come to interest paid profit and loss account debit side. Leave two lines here. To interest paid directly outer column four twenty five. To printing and stationery six hundred outer column. To purchases where does purchase go? Trading account. two purchases do we have purchase return yes we have purchase return so in the inner column we'll write purchases 16000 less returns return is how much 1100 purchase then we have wages and we have a adjustment for wages so write two wages In a column, one thousand four hundred. Leave a line. Sales return. We'll write buy sales first. How much is sales? Twenty three thousand six hundred. Less return. How much is return? Nine hundred. Then bad debts. Where will bad debts go? Profit and loss account debit side. Do not do the adjustments first. I am just writing all the trial balance items. Two bad debts. Do you remember the formula for bad debts? Three twenty-five. Add new bad debts. Add new RDD. Less old RDD. Just return the formula first. Later we'll see the adjustment. Now let's go to capital account. Capital account is here. Partners capital account. By balance brought down seventeen thousand five hundred, seventeen thousand five hundred. Have they given us profit sharing ratio here? No, that means it is equal. Sales. We have already written sales. Sundry creditors. Where will creditors go? Balance sheet liability side. First, I will write capital. Write down their names: Durgesh and Dinesh. Leave a line right here. Sundry creditors. Do we have any adjustment? No. Fourteen thousand five hundred. Bills payable. Again, no adjustment. Three thousand five hundred. Bank loan, no adjustment. Ten thousand. Discount received, profit and loss account credit side. By discount received. How much? Seven fifty. Purchase return we have already done. All right. Now let's move on to adjustments. Closing stock only one value is given, so let's write here. Balance sheet asset side. Leave two lines here. Write here closing stock. Fourteen thousand five hundred. Outstanding and second effect. Second effect is your trading account. Credit side, buy closing stock. How much is that? Fourteen thousand five 
14,500. Outstanding salaries, add in salary, add outstanding salary, how much is that? 350. Second effect, balance sheet liability side, right here, outstanding salary is 350. Wages paid in advance to workers, that is your prepaid wages, I will write here, prepaid wages is uh, 600. Second effect, go to trading account, less prepaid, 600. Now depreciate land and building at 5 percent and plant and machinery at 10 percent. Now let us see land and building less depreciation less here it is 5 percent and here it is 10 percent 5 percent So let's write here depreciation one two five zero. So outer column will be twenty three thousand seven fifty, and here depreciation is ten percent, so it is one thousand one hundred. Outer column nine thousand nine hundred. Next, okay, uh, profit and loss account debit side. Second effect of depreciation. Leave a line here. Two depreciation land and building plant and machinery land and building was 1250 this is 1100 zero zero. so outside is 0 5 3 and 2 all right next is write off 500 as further bad debts this is new bad debts 500 here there is no new rdd no old rdd so add the two 825. Now go to for the second effect balance sheet less new bad debts that is 500 so outer column is 12,000. That is it all the adjustments now we are going to find out the gross profit all the adjustments are done just check once ok now how do we tally this first find total of credit side 22,700 plus 14,500 that is 37,200 this amount less 9,000 14,900 800 so that will give us my gross profit here you will write 37,200 to gross profit transfer to PNL account. So, 12,500. This is my gross profit. Now, gross profit has to go to profit and loss account credit side. So, profit and loss account right here by gross profit. Suppose it was gross loss, it would come this side. So, 12,500, okay, add 750 right here. 13,250. Now, this minus all these things, okay. So, my net profit, I am going to get 2 net profit. Now you have to distribute among the partners equally, okay? Distributed to what are the partners name? Durgesh and Dinesh. Durgesh Dinesh. So my total profit is 7600 is my net profit. So divide by 2, 
3800 and 3800 all right here again total is 13250 now go here give them distribute profits by profit and loss account distribution of profit so it is 3800 and 3800 So the answer here is 21300 and here also it is 21300. To balance carry down 21300, 21300. Okay, now where will you carry this balance sheet? Write down here. 21300 21300 okay now your balance sheet should tally just check total of both the sides should be 70950 70950 okay you must do it neatly and try to finish this sum in half an hour okay bye